What's going on, y'all? Thank you for tuning in to Divalicious Beauty. I'm Lady Prodigy, and today I'm going to be doing a makeup haul. Um, I had purchased some eyeshadow, some cream eyeshadows that I got from uh, Walgreens, and my sister friend, which I talk about all the time. That's my that's my that's my friend there. But she um had told me about one of them after I was sick for a while. She had told me about um. The ones I'm going to talk about first. And although I like them, the the second ones that I'm going to talk about I like better because of the creaminess of them. So we're... Ugh, I just messed up my nail. Stick it in there. Sorry, guys. But um, I'm going to talk about the Maybelline Eye Studio um, cream eyeshadows here. And the first one is going to be uh, New Lazy Ons. And you can see I just accidentally dipped my finger and I didn't do it on purpose. Let's fix that. But um this is what they look like. And they have a creamy um consistency. And since I've already dipped my brush in, in this one here, I'm just gonna do a quick swap so you can see. Now this one is uh, almost my skin <laughs> complexion, so you might not be able to see it very much, but that's what it looks like. And they go on very well. Um, I haven't really used these yet because I've used the other ones that I'm going to talk about. But I'm doing a couple of swatches just so you guys can see uh, what they look like. I'm going to have to use a, another brush here. Cream eyeshadows, I think, are, are good, but some of them you have to worry about them creasing. That's the only thing I don't like about them. So here's the other two colors, the middle color and then the last color here. And this is, uh, like I said, this is the Neutral Lazy Ons, number 25. And I love neutral colors. Um, I don't wear them that often, but I do like them. As you can see here, I have on blue. I love blue. Now, the second one that I'm going to show you is Purple Possibilities, and it looks like this here. And this is the one I saw in the uh, magazine ad that Priscilla Joe sent to me. So I had to go um, look for them. See, she gets on my nerves because I, here I am sick, and she's showing me these things. She know I'm going to go out and get them. So <laughs> she's sitting there, sitting there, look, you got to check this out. So... And I just do a couple of, uh, just do two swatches from this, this particular palette so you guys can see what they look like. Now this, uh, one color here is a gold color. It's so beautiful. Beautiful. And the purple is even better. And if y'all don't have these, go pick them up. Now, I have um, haven't had to use a base with the ones I've been using. I just use one of the uh, colors that match my complexion in the neutral one I'm going to show you in the second palettes, in the uh, second, second uh, set of palettes. You'll see what I'm talking about. Here's the purple. So they go on well if you uh, put them on properly. You won't have to worry about them creasing. And the last one I'm going to show you is Flash of Forest. It looks like this. And I'm just going to show you, um, like I said, just the main colors, like the green and the darker colors, just so you can see how well they show up. Okay, I just did two swatches from this one, and it's these two colors here, and here they go right here, the green and the brown. See how, how that green shows up? Very beautiful green. It's like a pine green. Very beautiful. I'm just going to wipe these off, and these again, 
are the Maybelline Eye Studio quads, uh, not quads, but um, palettes with three colors. They each have three colors in them. And they were buy one, get one 50% off at Walgreens. This was a few weeks ago. I don't know if they're still running the sale or not. Um, but if they are, go get them while they're buying it one 50% off. Alright, now the next one, I only have two of these. Because the, the other ones that they had, I really didn't like the colors that were in them. And these are the Revlon um, Illuminous Cream Shadows. And the first one I'm going to show you is Electric Pop. There's four colors in these. And I actually like these because they really, just because of the colors, and they're a little bit, to me, they're a little bit more creamier than the Maybelline ones. So, as you can see here, you can see what I've been using a lot of, that blue, that dark blue right here. Love it. And I actually have it on now. I put it on, and then I put some of the Young Punk from, not Young Punk. What was the other one? Give me a second. Blue Flame, I'm sorry. Uh, some of Max Blue Flame on top, just a little, just to kind of give it a, a glittery type look. But it looks good by itself. It kind of gives you like a smoky eye type of effect. And of course I blended it out with my favorite Sally Girl color, Black Brown. Love that color. If you don't have that color, you need to go cop it from Sally's. It's called Sally Girl's Black Brown. And I have to actually go buy another one. They're little. But you can see I've, I've pretty much used it down to where it's crumbled now. But um, yeah, I'm just going to do a swatch of the blue and then I'll do one of the green just so you can see it alright that's the blue that's the blue make sure I clean this brush good and here is the green And these were also um, buy one fifty buy one get one fifty percent off from Walgreens. Now, of these two palettes, the one I'm gonna show you is my favorite. I love this one. It's got some pretty neutrals in it, and I wore um, I actually wore this palette yesterday, and I'll post a picture at the end of this video so you can kind of see what it looks like with it on but they were it was so close to my skin complexion you couldn't really tell I had on a lot of makeup as far as my eyes were concerned so this one is uh, the Revlon Illuminous Cream Shadow in not just nudes and this is what that looks like and you can see I've been using that four colors and I'm just gonna dip um, cause this is gonna this color right here it shows up the same as my complexion, so you won't see it. So I'm going to do these two colors here. Or these two. I'll do these two so y'all can see it. And it doesn't take, with these, I noticed that it doesn't take a lot of uh, going in it for it to show. You can do one pass over really, and it's going to show up. And there go those two colors. And this one, you actually get a little mirror at the top. So, you know, you want to do your little makeup and stuff in this little mirror, you can. And I wanted to show those two products to you. I mean, they are really good cream shadows, the Revlon and Maybelline. But I, if I had to pick, it would be the Revlon ones. I really, really like those. Um, also... I have to do another. I'm not going to make y'all wait. Um, I also wanted to show you these. I have, um, these are lip applicators. And I got these for when I start doing makeup. 
And um, they were, I got them off of Amazon. They were $5 for 100 I got some of those, the kinds like this. And these will mainly be used for lip gloss. And they come with 100 in them. And I got two of them because they were only $5. And then I also got these type. Let me take them out so y'all can see. Can see. These were also five dollars on uh, Amazon.com. These are, will be used for lipstick mainly. So you can see that there. That would be used for a lipstick, and the other ones would be used for for gloss, but. They were uh, $5 for 100 And these were, I think there's only 25 of these in here. But the other ones you can get 100 And they were $5 of these, which is not bad. So, I will post the information for both, uh, all three of the products that I've, four, actually, of the products that I've showed you. If y'all have any questions, y'all know how to find me on the tube. Just shoot me an email. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. And I would like to thank you guys for tuning in to Delicious Beauty. If you haven't already, go and enter my contest with Pris Kitty Joe and Amore Infinity for breast cancer awareness. It's really important for us as women to make sure that, you know, when we get to that age that we are getting our regular checkups for our mammograms. Um, so that if there's anything wrong, they can detect it early so that it does not become life-threatening. Um, this is something that affects a lot of women so make sure that y'all are doing your breast exams and getting checked regularly once you hit that that 35 age mark unless you're like me and are just you know big chested which I don't like but I don't complain because it could be worse so thank you guys for watching I will see you guys on the flip side love you bye